Welcome back, 1028, as we read our answers from Facebook, things you've said. Dear Marcus Gaston, filling in for Megan. Good morning. And the question was, what is your favorite ride at the fair? As my phone turns off, what do you got, <laughs> Marcus? I got some answers here. We have, um, Sue Black says, my granddaughter Addison said none. She doesn't like any of them. I'm with Addison on that one. Lisa Sanders says, Scrambler was always her favorite. Rhonda Fleming, now, I don't know if this is actually a ride named the Candy Apple or if you really just like the Candy Apple. Maybe that's that little thing. Because uh, the flavors of a Candy know. Apple can take you on a ride, right? Well, and you know, we were talking about what else, the food, uh, they fry everything. Oreos, well, yeah. they fry butter. P pickled How about this? Uh, scrambler, I see the scrambler, uh, the I'm zipper. What's the zipper, Christine? I don't know. Jessica Daly said the fireball and the zipper. Yeah. I grew up with brothers, that's why they would ride when we were kids. I used to be scared of it, but now I love it. So I guess you can get out of that whole fear of the rides and get well, into it Well, they say later. face your fear. There are two I always avoid, the Ferris wheel and the uh, roller coaster. Tammy Davis says the merry-go-round. Hey, yeah, that's pretty classic, safe. Classic, Michael Bogan is in, in, my, in my head space. He says the one coming back home, that's the ride he, he likes. Yeah, kitty rides. I'll tell you my favorite. What is it? Bumper car. Now see, I really like to get I can a do bumper the bumper car. cars. Yeah, it's just, I thought it was the teacups. I, I fancied you for a teacup. Do man. I look like a teacup kind of guy? <laughs> uh, the zipper. I got to find out what the zipper, the twister are, and the Himalayan. I've heard of that. Oh, the Himalayan. I think yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, Leanne. Let's see. Yeah. Lou Ann does not like anything at the fair. Lou Ann. Well, I don't know if I don't like anything at the fair. I just don't like the rides at the fair. The like, swing. That's where you get in a swing. And yeah, you just go out farther and farther as it turns. That, right. that would be fun. Right. I would handle it. I just have those images of rides like collapsing, and that's not, I, I mean, sorry to be Debbie Downer, but that's just what I think yeah. about when I think about oh Ferris yeah. wheels and all that stuff. Well, I refuse. I did that Ferris wheel in Vegas, and that, that one that's almost. A biggie. Yeah, it was outside the hotel, and it took like 30 minutes to go around, but good thing they had a bar service in there. You, each of the little things is oh, all glass. They had a refrigerator and no, a bar No, you have an actual car. bartender in the car. So, are you serious? <laughs> you were there for 35 minutes? You get thirsty, is that what you're saying? You get thirsty in 35 minutes. Never, in Vegas, I there's never, something only for everybody. In, only in Las Vegas. Only my, in wow, Vegas, baby. Yeah. All right, we're going to talk about some food? Well, we are. We've been on that topic even earlier, but Ingalls, our buddies, our good supporter of our show, created this little segment. It's called Chef's Kitchen. Now, they're in the kitchen. Let's see what they're cooking up. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Chef's Kitchen, where Ingalls caters some of the best events anywhere. I'm Josh Michael here with Chef Kale, and today we're showing you how to make some amazing foods right there at home. So, Chef, what is it today? Today we're going to do uh, cacio pepe. Cacio pepe. Okay. That's right. All right. Does it sound fancy? It does. It means salt and pepper. Well, there you go. You learn something <laughs> new every day. How do we get started? All right. We're going to add some butter to a hot pan. Okay. Nice. You don't want to get it too brown. Okay, and you don't want to burn the butter, that's right. for sure, right? So then we're gonna have fresh ground pepper and it has to be fresh ground. You don't want it out of a shaker. Okay, excellent. It has more fragrance. Fresh ground pepe. The pepe. Okay, right. yes. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do that. So you've already cooked off our pasta, but we reserved about a cup and a half of the of the water. Okay, and you usually put some some salt inside the water exactly, when you're boiling it up. Okay? Exactly. So let's go ahead and add our pasta. Very nice. You're talking my language there, I love that. And then we're gonna deglaze the pan with our pasta water. Excellent, just a little bit at a time now? Yeah, okay. you just kind of, this is supposed to be a really light summery dish, okay. so you don't wanna go too, too crazy. You want a little more salt. Excellent. And don't go too heavy on the salt, because we are gonna add a lot of Parmesan. Yeah, and we have that salted water in there, right? right. Okay. So we're gonna add some of that, yep. just to get it incorporated. And this is just like the secret ingredient this, right here. This, this is, is amazing. This is the best thing I've seen at the Ingalls Deli in a long time. Yep. Already shredded chicken, already cooked, super simple. Just throw that in. That's perfect. Yeah. Oh, it's starting to smell really good here too. Excellent. So, see how it's kind of sticking? Yep. And you can use a spatula. You don't have to throw it up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> right. You could add a little more water when it's starting to stick a little bit. Excellent. To finish it off, you're going to put some arugula. Oh, yeah. A little, little bit of color there. And it's a, have you ever worked with arugula much? You know, it's not very long, is what I've been told. Yeah. It's not very long. It wilts down nicely. Mm -hmm. And it's a little peppery. OK. So it goes perfect with this dish. Perfect. OK. That's looking kind of good. good. It's smelling good. You can smell that pepper. Right, it. right. Kind of wilt that down. Excellent. Go ahead and hand me the bowl. Want some, some uh, there we go in this. There we there go. There we go. And that's it. That See looks how good. simple that is? Yeah, I love that. It smells good, nice and cheesy. Right. Uh, I mean, you're right. It's a great summertime uh, light dish. Exactly. There. And so to finish it off, and you really have to think about this, you always eat with your eyes first, yep. right? So 
Just oh. add a little pop of color there. That looks amazing. Maybe oh, a little, little basil, basil on top. Basil. There we go. Finish it with some more. Oh, Chef Kale, that's beautiful. Look at that dish. All right, thanks go. so much for joining us here at the Chef's Kitchen. For more great recipes and to learn about having the Chef's Kitchen cater your next event, visit thechefskitchen.com. See you next time. Cheese, one more cheese. Yeah,